Well, Kesha from our foundation, tell us what's been going on today. Uh, so today we've got down at the training ground, we've got Serpers and High with us. They've uh, done our local competition, won that, got to uh, the area finals, um, won that at Charlton's training ground, um, and then went to the regional finals at Swindon uh, a couple of weeks back and won there. So the next round is at Wembley in the finals. So the Don's going to win? Yeah, uh, yeah, we have to win. Come on, you Don's. Uh, they're, really, they're really positive. They've, they've spent the last round and run beaten in that. So they're a great bunch of girls. They've had a great season as well um, for their school in the Surrey Cup. Um, and yeah, they're just looking forward to playing and, and getting to Wembley, really. And what a bonus having Karen Carney here today, 144 caps for England. Yeah, it's been great to have a, like I said, a third world, most capped England player come down and be a role model to the girls. There's a lot of them that play currently in teams at the moment and uh, look up to a lot of the England um, ladies. And it's good to just, like, just say, have a, an England cap player come down and, and show them that they can boost it for the final. Well, Karen, how do these type the girls' cup, how do these type of events really help to promote the women's game? Well, I think first of all, it's just important to show the girls that I mean, they're going to Wembley. It's amazing um, that you can go to a huge venue, an iconic venue, and you know, from grassroots level, go to the home of national football, really, for us. So it's fantastic that they can believe they can do that, and it's great to showcase the talent that we've got, especially from a young age. We're watching them today in training. We've got some really top quality young players in there, and I'm excited on the day to, to go and play on what will be an absolute carpet, and I can imagine. FC Wimbledon recently held the County Cup yeah. final, Chelsea and City, so how important is it for a local community club to get behind the women's game as much as possible? Massive, because the communities and football were imperative, and you know, like I watched that game, it looked fantastic, the venue was great, the atmosphere was great, um, probably minus the weather, it was cold, but you, you know, that's... It was a great spectacle and it's, like I said, it's, it's so important that local communities get behind all, everyone that wants to play, you know, that not boys, girls, disability, everything, you have to support everyone in this, so it's really important that the community gets behind it. We're in this Girls' Cup every year, every year we interact with the local community, what can this do to help our links, particularly as we're at Plough Lane now? Yeah, it's great, uh, we ran our local one, I said, at two in Mitcham, um, and we had the schools from every area, like whether they're in Surrey, whether they're in um, Mitcham or Wandsworth, we had like a mix of schools come in to play. Uh, quite local to the training ground uh, by Lark, Surbiton as well. So I think for them it feels like a, like a real close um, club connection as well. With them representing us last year and now again this year and reaching the finals. So yeah, it's been great. Well, how's the football at Surbiton High School? Zach, uh, you're here today ahead of a big Wembley day for Surbiton High School girls. What does that mean? Um, well, massive for for us as a school. We've obviously, we've never had a team at Wembley before. Um, just the experience for for the girls and yeah, for us as a school to be very exciting. They've been counting down the days. They have, yeah. It's been spoken about um, many times in the build up to it. What about coming down? We know that they've met the first team is today. Karen Carney, inspired them for them? Oh, amazing um, experience to be here at the training ground, meeting the first team and Karen as well. Yeah, amazing experience for the girls. Obviously, great to meet them. We've had a couple of the boys do the warm up, and the keepers have had their goalkeeper working as well. So, uh, yeah, no, it's great to have them down here. and. Uh, can't wait for them to represent the club at Wembley. Especially now with that plough lane, how important is this you know, interaction with the community? Yeah, it's huge. You, you look at the local community and they're the next generation of fans, hopefully, that we can try and promote and try and fill plough lane. So, um, yeah, anything that we can do to try and help with that is, uh, is huge. Nice to have Karen Carney here today. 144 caps for England. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, that's an incredible achievement. Um, and it's something that we can tap into as well. So I know Robbo's had a chat um, with Karen as well. And it's great to have her down and great to see that people are supporting um, things like this as well because they're so important and memories, great memories for these uh, children in the future. I know you're now a big part of the first team set up but a few memories of maybe about eight to ten years ago when you took a team to Wembley, wasn't it? Tell us about yeah. that. Yeah, it was the boys section, so uh, took the, I think it was Corpus Christi school um, to, to Wembley and that, so uh, I think they won 12 nil on the day, so uh, yeah, really good uh, really good day out and again, memories, memories for not only the staff at the school but the players as well and, and for myself as well, so um, yeah, no, a great day out. As a club, we're really trying to push that way, particularly after moving to Plough Lane and being back in there, and what do you know about our story? 
Um, well, I know I used to play at Kings Meadow as well. Um, so that, that, and now you've transferred into this fantastic new venue. I know that this is where you train. I've been here. This is the first time I've been here. Um, met the players. I've spoke to the manager. He's, he's absolutely a legend. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been fantastic coming here and learning more um, about the team. And it's so local to me as well. So yeah. it's important for me to understand that. As well. And uh, yourself, uh, I know you're not playing now, but 144 caps for England. Uh, got mentioned a few times today, and deservedly so. Did uh, you enjoy it? You enjoy meeting the girls? And... No, I did. I enjoyed meeting them. And the, the one thing I'm sad about is I'm injured, so I can't have a kick around with them because oh. I think it's just you miss that. Like it, like it brings you back a little bit, and I just wish I had the opportunity to go and play at Wembley like they did. You know, for the Utility Girls Cup. I, I wish, you know, they had. I was lucky I did have inspiring coaches, but to see the inspiring coaches here, you know, help them progress them and it's just so nice and I, I wish I was their age again for many reasons. Um, but I wish I had the opportunities they had, so it's been really nice to come back and see that today. Thanks for coming today. Nice no, to thank hear you. from you. Thanks for having me.